Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today we're going to be doing a settlement tour of Outpost Zamanja. Kind of like this little spot. It's kind of small, tucked up into these rocks. Kind of almost underneath the overpass. Does have a few problems, though. I mean, like I said, it's kind of small, but makes you really get creative on how to use up the space you know another drawback is right down there there's a couple of turrets that spawn up and a raider that pops up every now and then nothing too terrible though just use the junk fences for the perimeters use the pillar glitch to get them close you know close up the gaps and things like that we'll head in and see what's up Got the little turret stands I really like this idea I tend to use them a lot they don't take up a lot of space and they look really good And then I set up a couple of box cars right here. This one I put on uh, scaffolding. If you put those down, the box car will actually snap to it. I think it looks pretty good. A little bit different than having just the normal wood, which I used on this side just as a contrast. And on this side, I've got the outpost general store that I've put inside the box car then just use the scaffolding there for for the stairway to get up in it and I use the level one because it fit in here a little bit better I thought it made it easier for the for my merchant to get in and out you know then I just put up some posters some cabinets you know a little funky little shack you know Then when you first get this settlement, there's a like a guard post right here. And I don't know, for some reason, you can get rid of everything but that set of stairs. I'll go into workshop mode and show you. See, it won't even highlight the stairs. I can highlight the scaffolding. And those stairs, I can highlight everything around it. But not those. No way to move them. So I just kind of got rid of everything and then used it as a way to get up to the platform up on to that I built on top of the boxcar. And I used the pillars from the warehouse section of the build menu to uh, put a little structure to the, to the platform. And it doesn't quite fit all the way, but if you use these stairs and then snap on a small set of stairs, it works to get up here. And it doesn't look too awful bad. Then I just built a little platform with the guard post on top. Really get a pretty good view from this settlement. I like it a lot. And it's not too much in the way. You know, if you watch the traffic come in and out of here, they, they tend to go right through here. So it's not so bad. Then in kind of keeping with the... I wanted to build kind of a... Like a raidery type camp. You know, a trading camp type thing. So I wanted to go with a bunch of smaller buildings. You know, like that's where they had room for it. So that's where they put it up. You know, like this little this little shack here that I built up with the bed in it. Then this little shack right here was here when you get the settlement. I just glitched in some walls and the door. Kind of made a little apartment out of it. Then I put my generator up on top and closed it in. 
kind of hide it out of the way. Then in that box car, I put my bar. And again, I just used the level one just to make it, you know, I mean, there's not a, it's not very wide in these box cars, but these level one, maybe even level two fit in here real well and gives it plenty of room to get behind it. I gotta, I'll come back in later and stock the shelves with alcohol and drinks and stuff like that, make it look a little bit better, but right now the settlers just keep knocking everything I stack up over. It's a real pain in the butt. But I'm really impressed the way this came out, these box cars. You can put the, there's a door that you can put on there in the box car section. But I thought it looked good. These regular walls do clip into the side. I thought it made it look a little more scrappy. A little more wasteland, you know. Put up some signs on the side. And put up another little shack over here. A death claw head. Then this main structure here was is here when you first get the settlement. I was able to move it around. You got your your main workshop bench there. Then I was just able to squeeze in this little this little hut back here. Use the small beds, save you some space in these little rooms. Thought it came out pretty good. And you go upstairs. Farming. With these stairs here, it's not really... I mean, you probably could glitch in a wall or something right there, but... I just decided to leave it open. Then I put up these railings. They do snap to the to the walkway, which is here. It was here to begin with. Ain't looking for trouble, I hope. able to put my radio tower and everything up on top then off of this side I was able to build off of the end of it because there was a bed right in here and I got rid of it built on a little extra room at the on the side of it I was pretty happy with the way that came out I did rug rug glitch in a bed I gotta come back later and get rid of the rugs. I keep having problems. They say that you can, when you set these down, you can go off and quest for a little while, do something else for a while, and then come back and take the, take you know, you can take the rugs off. But it just seems like every time I do, I, I go off and do some missions and some quests, and I come back, and maybe I'm not taking long enough. I, I'm not sure, but every time I take them off, the object sinks halfway into the into the floor so I just kind of leave them there I, it's not that big a deal really to me but with that rubble coming through the wall right there the bed wanted to go up and float so I just rug glitched it in to keep it down on the on the floor itself and I'm not through decorating yet I got some more junk that I want to put up in here Probably a few more things on the wall. Got work to do. Can't talk now. Yeah. Don't know why he's up there in the way, but he is. I'm back here. Just got a little sitting area. You can go in and get him a drink. And come out here and sit down. Got my food up here on the on the hillside. Got more of my turret stands up here. This time I put a heavy laser turret up on it. All systems are a go, sir. We got a guard tower here that I I put up. Use the barn pillars to give it a little structure and things like that. I like this idea of this little guard tower. It's quick, it's easy, it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. Gives you a lot you can do. I got a missile turret up here. There are some enemies that spawn up in this area. My guard post. Whatever it 
in this biggest building right here the bottom level I use for my workshop area in this settlement Yeah, I've started decorating a little bit with the junk. I got gave it a microscope. Little things laying around. I got some more to do though. Put up a couple of gun racks here next to the gun bench weapons bench. Cooking spot. And if you go upstairs, I just built a little bunkhouse up here for just to have some more beds. And I got my second guard tower. I didn't put a turret on this one because I've got them kind of spread all over over there but there are a bunch of enemies that spawn up here underneath the bridge so I got two ways in two ways out this end and that end over there these junk fences just got to be patient when you pillar glitch them in to each other to cover the gaps then you can bring them, you know, lower them down to help cover the different, the change in the terrain. That's the back side of that little room that I built on there. And I just used the concrete walls to go along, along this, along the rocks on this side. really like the way this one came out I thought about making this into I've used the castle you know of course for the Minutemen made that their base and I've been wanting to do a Brotherhood of Steel outpost and I thought about using this one because of the tower kind of turn it into a communications type thing but the structure there doesn't really go along with what I was thinking. So I just turned this into kind of a just a little trader camp area. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. That's much, much appreciated. And if you want, subscribe to us. I got a lot more videos coming out. Just about finished up with the castle. So I might get that done here this weekend. Next couple of days, get it, get a video out on that one. And I've been thinking up new, new little things. I put out a video of this uh, gatehouse that I used with the logic gates. I've been trying to come up with different things like that different ideas for my gun range too I got a video out on that one that I built at the castle I'll highlight that more when I do the castle uh, tour so thanks for watching guys have a good one